So the election season in Telangana seems to have well and truly begun with uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's second visit to Telangana in three days and fireworks really opening up. Explosive political comments by the Prime Minister where he alleged that uh, the Chief Minister of Telangana had approached him in 2021 to join the NDA and he claims that he had in fact rejected entry uh, for the Chief Minister into the NDA and he says he was very angry with that but came back once again and uh, sought his blessings to anoint uh, Mr. K.T. Ramarao as the Chief Minister, his son K.T. Ramarao as the Chief Minister and that the Prime Minister claims that he had told uh, the Chief Minister that he is not a king to be able to anoint uh, his son uh, to his kingdom. Uh, so this has obviously uh, provoked a very strong reaction uh, from Mr. K.T. Ramara, working president of the BRS and uh, he claims, he says that uh, there is nothing like this that has happened and that uh, the Prime Minister is lying and he has uh, in fact said multiple things about it. Uh, one saying that uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, the Prime Minister makes this claim, why do we need uh, an approval from the Prime Minister for any changes that we want to make in our party? that the Politburo or the MLAs would uh, take such a decision and why would we need the blessings of the Prime Minister for uh, making any change in our party. The other uh, reaction is that why would we want to join the NDA uh, when it is in fact he calls it a sinking ship and says that uh, whether it is a Telugu Desam or the Shiromani Akali Dal or the JDU, uh, all of them have in fact uh, left Telugu Desam as well, have left uh, the uh, NDA and there is no reason he in fact uh, used quite harsh language saying that uh, has a mad dog uh, bitten us, that rabbit dog bitten us, that we would be wanting to join the NDA and that uh, he calls uh, Mr. Modi a cheater. Of course, Mr. Prime, the Prime Minister on his part uh, said that uh, he would never do business with a KCR and also referred to Mr. Uh, the Chief Minister not coming to receive him ever since these things happened he says uh, that uh, he is unable to face him or look him in the eye and that's the reason why uh, chief minister kcr has not come to receive him at the airport ever since or nor has he met him uh, all this obviously embarrassing uh, in the public domain for uh, the brs but in a sense politically this would benefit both the brs as well as the bjp how is that that's because if uh, the, it becomes a BJP versus BRS narrative here in Telangana, even otherwise with uh, the change in the BJP leadership from uh, Bandi Sanjay to Kishan Reddy, there was uh, this feeling or reports that the BJP seemed to have lost its momentum in Telangana and now with this kind of a uh, very high pitched kind of exchanges between the BRS leadership and uh, the Prime Minister himself, once again it would seem like the narrative is developing of a BRS versus a BJP and that in a sense should take away the anti-BRS votes which otherwise may have gone to the Congress and which in the last few months is said to have in fact been coming to the Congress and that would perhaps go back to the BJP and uh, if the Congress is not going to gain in Telangana, BJP would be having its sights uh, set certainly on 2024 and not wanting a Telangana to go to a Congress uh, prior to that uh, in the elections that are to happen before the end of this year. And with that in mind, I must uh, say that uh, it would actually be benefiting both the BRS as well as the BJP, this kind of a sharp exchange uh, between the Prime Minister and the BRS leadership. Having said that, the Prime Minister made another important uh, accusation, claimed that uh, the uh, KCR had in fact uh, bankrolled the election campaign of the Karnataka in uh, of the Congress in Karnataka and that this is payback time for the Congress in Telangana to which Mr. KTR has retorted saying that if he does know of money transfer, what was his income tax department doing? In fact, in the same breath as uh, when he said that uh, the political parties are leaving the NDA, he in fact said the only people who seem to be in the NDA is the ED, CBI, IT and so on. So, this kind of a pitch battle happening at a time when the Congress also in fact has been making this demand uh, for uh, the OBC census uh, within the census and that the numbers are required, the data is required for uh, justice to be done. There, uh, um, Jitni Abadi Utni Hak is the slogan that uh, the Congress is talking about and the Prime Minister in fact mocked even that and uh, brought in another uh, dimension to this. For the first time perhaps he's talking about how the delimitation exercise could end up uh, being a disadvantage for the South and uh, uh, with the huge number of seats that the South is bound to lose 
with a delimitation exercise, the uh, Prime Minister posing this question in the public domain to say that the Congress is in fact uh, promoting uh, an idea, idea of uh, population uh, in correlation, in proportion with the rights or rights in proportion with the population and that that would create a disadvantage for South India and therefore he labelled the Congress as uh, anti-South. Uh, this is happening on the same day when uh, Mr. Devan Reddy, the PCC president, in fact, has written an open letter, had written an open letter to the chief minister asking for uh, OBC data to be put out in the public domain and he said that more than 50% of the population uh, belong to the backward classes and that they are being disadvantaged because there is no proper data available and therefore not adequate representation. Um, he, in fact, wanted that just like in Bihar, data has been put out. Similarly, he says in Telangana as well, he points out there is a comprehensive household survey that was conducted in 2014 and that data should be made public so that we get an idea of how much is the OBC population. What I must point out is that while every party talks about whether it's a BRS or the Congress talking about uh, more representation for the BC, politically that becomes a tricky uh, area for uh, both these parties because it is the winnability of the candidates perhaps that will perha finally determine uh, which uh, community person is given the ticket. The BRS already has uh, declared its list for the assembly elections and they have uh, given uh, for the BC category, backward classes category, about 23 uh, tickets among the 117 or so that have been declared. Uh, uh, about 110 odd that have been declared. Whereas the uh, Congress has not yet declared its results and PCC President Revan Reddy has told NDTV that uh, he wants to ensure that at least two BCs, OBCs, backward classes are given tickets in each of the uh, 17 uh, Lok Sabha constituencies in Telangana which means that would add up to 34 assembly tickets to the backward class community. That is something that uh, both the parties have not done uh, in the past and the Congress certainly want to, wants to show that they are doing better by the backward classes than uh, the uh, BRS and hoping to get in fact the support of the Mudiraj and other communities which may be politically very significant in terms of number. All this is happening on a day when in fact uh, the um, a central team, a 17 member central team has come to Hyderabad and uh, after the three days of its stay here, they will be in fact, uh, it is expected that they will go back with the report. They already met with the political party representatives, BJP, Congress, uh, the uh, BRS and others and uh, they would be representing with, uh, they would be meeting with other enforcement agencies as well, go back with a report after which we are expecting that uh, the announcement of the dates uh, for the assembly elections will come about. Even before that, of course, the BRS wanting to uh, make all its announcements and SOPs, the monies to be given to the farmers in terms of uh, the Raitu Bandhu scheme, which is a direct uh, investment scheme. The other uh, Batkama Saris, Dasara is coming up and that's a time when the Saris are distributed, even that they want to finish all that process uh, by the 14th of this uh, month so that they do not get caught uh, in the election code of conduct and are able to keep people happy with the welfare measures uh, that they are following uh, with an eye of course also on the vote of the people. So uh, all three parties challenging each other, calling uh, the other as a B team of uh, one or the other, uh, Revan Reddy calling uh, the Congress as a B team of the BRS. The Prime Minister again once again calling the Congress as a B team of the BRS. So everyone uh, accusing each other and it looks like uh, it's going to be a rather interesting uh, run up to elections in Telangana. We will keep uh, updating you on the developments, giving you the analysis and the perspective about how the political wind is blowing. Thanks so much for watching.